starting from um, the counts are actually really strange so um, I'm just going to like go off of the, the beats of the music instead of counting in the beginning so um, I'll just go over the moves and then I'll go into like where it lands in the count so the first move um, your right hand is gonna go like this with your wrist flicked and like parallel to the ground and your palm is gonna be facing down. So your, hand, your right hand is like this and up, and with your right leg, you're going to be leaning on your right leg and it's gonna be bent in. So your body is gonna be facing towards like a left corner, and then your right arm is up. So this is the first move. And then the next move is you're going to flip your body, and then you're gonna put your left arm up, and your right arm is still up, like higher up. So this is the second. Uh, like picture that you're going to hit and then you're going to switch so now your right arm is kind of behind your head and your left arm is like kind of angled down in front of you um, and your hand is just kind of like following this so the first one was like this your body is facing to the left and your right arm is up and then you're putting your left arm up and your body is turning 180 and then you're switching your arms. And then after that, you're going to again swivel your body 180 degrees and your arms are going to follow. So the upper arm is going to go up and then go on your head. So kind of like this, but you're going to be facing this way. Um, and your bottom arm, your right arm, is going to also swivel around and you're gonna kind of like hug yourself right here. So you're facing your left side and you're doing this with your arms but facing this way. Okay, so I'm just gonna review that again. So the first um, pause, you're gonna do right arm up and then left arm goes up and then switch, swivel, and then you're gonna pause here for a little bit. And then um, again, it'll be more clear when I Try to like hum along with it but there's like a little bum bum part where you're going to bounce so you bounce right on those beats and then after the, the bounce the move you're going to stand straight front and you're going to bring your right arm on your chest here and then you're going to bring your left arm on your chest here so from here it's going to go and eight so that's when it starts getting on the beat kind of but if i were to try to sing it um, I'm so sorry in advance. It's gonna go, um, so to explain this a little more clearly, there's a cannon. So on the first beat, the side, we're not gonna move, but then on the second beat, we're gonna start this. So it's gonna go, bum, 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 switch, da da da, bounce, bounce, and eight. <laughs> um, for anyone who knows the song that, might make a little bit more sense, but for anyone else, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so we're here and eight, and then you're gonna go straight down. So you're gonna do like a slight bend in your knees and you're gonna straight down. And then now it's like, now I can count it. Um, so it's gonna go one. So your right arm, you're gonna pull it and then put it behind you. And at the same time, your right knee is coming in just a little bit. So one, and then the same thing on the left, two, and then for three, four, two beats, you're gonna body roll up. So you have a little bit of time to like bring yourself all the way up and try to like milk that smooth, sassy in, in that way and when you can. So three, four, and then for the next four beats, five, six, seven, eight, you're gonna put your left arm up and your head is also gonna be tilted to the left. And 
you're gonna be with your right hand hitting your hip area. So like here, you're gonna be hitting it four times. So five, six, seven, eight. And at the same time, you're gonna be doing like a side gallop body roll. So the back of dancers are traveling for this, so it's a little bit easier if you think of it like you're traveling, but in place, you're just gonna do a body roll and hit on the four beats. So um, just to recap that from here, we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So um, let me just review from the beginning. So again, with my singing, it'll be five, six, seven, eight, bum, 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 switch, da, 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 bounce, bounce, and eight, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, um, I'm gonna move on just a little bit. Um, so after we did eight, you're gonna be kind of like um, a little bit more than shoulder width apart with your legs, and then your hands are gonna be one on top of the other. I do, right hand is more out, so I don't think it matters that much. And you're just gonna like um, draw little S's in front of you with your arms. And at the same time, you're gonna be stepping right, left, right, left. And just like, don't just like step, just put like some S into it. <laughs> um, so yeah, just like kind of like sit down, like kind of like the S you're drawing in front of you, you're also drawing kind of with your behind. Um, so that's going to be for four beats. It's going to be one, two, three, four. And so we just stepped on our left, right? And we're going to go down and put our hands on our thighs. We're going to kind of do the same thing. So it's going to be five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to go right, left, and then right, right. So for seven, you're going to stop yourself kind of in the middle and then you're gonna finish the move on eight. So we're gonna end up on our right side. So to review that eight count, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, right, right. And then now you're here for eight. Um, and then that's kind of like the end of the pre-chorus, except there's like another eight count where she does the so for that, after you came out for like the second like and eight, um, you're gonna kind of like jump, uh, walk into place. So just take a couple steps, um, and then you are going to. Oh no no no, sorry. Um, so it's gonna be one, two, three, and then on four, you're gonna do a chest roll. What is this? A clockwise. And then at the same time, your hands are gonna go like this, and like slowly. And so try to like milk that chest roll, and then also with the hands. I think if the chest roll is difficult for you, you can like simulate what the chest roll looks like by moving your hands in the opposite direction and then closing in. It's just kind of the effect. And even if you can do the chest roll, it's nice to like give it a more amplified effect with that. And then, so this is gonna be on four, and then there's a pause on five, and then for six, you're gonna like, you're gonna like nod your head and lean to the left, kind of like if someone was trying to pick a fight with you and you're just like, like that. <laughs> um, so for six, and then seven, eight, you're gonna sit on your right side and you're going to kind of like go like that. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the entire free chorus. So five, six, seven, eight, bum, 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 switch, da, 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 bounce, bounce, and eight, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The best. I could give you everything, anything, baby, can you handle it? So we ended on Kreso Nanunu Nana. And from here, you're gonna like, because your weight is already on your right, you're gonna bring your left, and your right arm is gonna go up. So this is like the iconic TikTok move, I guess. Um, so your right arm is gonna be up, and your legs are gonna go out, 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 and the whole time your body is kind of also moving down. So you need some major thigh strength for this. So you're gonna go one, two, three. And this part is kind of subtle, but they kind of like shift their body to the right, uh, to the left, right, left. And as so you do that three times, now I'm at the lowest point, sorry, my legs are tired. And then with the arm that's up, Kind of like you're pulling yourself up by a bar. So you're like, don't just come up normally, but try to like propel yourself up like with your, if you're looking at me from the side, it's like this. So I just went one, two, three, four. And then for five, um, it's gonna go step. So I'm gonna step forward with my right and my Right shoulders come forward, I think. Yeah, so it's gonna be five and, and then for six, you're gonna reach out with your palms facing out. So five and six, and then you're gonna pull it, pull it in. Five, six and, and then for, she's gonna be like, na, 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 and you're gonna go like, uh, so this is another like tiktok -y dance. So you pulled in, your fists are here, and you're going to like body roll to the right and then to the left. So your fists are here. Uh, you can kind of like bring it up, like, like something is traveling down your body and you're, I don't know. Um, yeah, so you pull in and you're gonna go seven, eight, and then you body roll twice. And then you're gonna do this like kind of gun motion with your, hand and then starting from like your the top facing the right corner you're going to like bring it down your body so imagine you're like body rolling on this thing on your hand um, from the like facing kind of the right corner so this is going to be on one and two so one it's going to be your body rolling and then on two you're gonna sit so that you're sitting on your left foot, your left leg, and your right leg is kind of popped, and your hand is down here. And when you sit, 
your left hand is going to go straight up. So make sure the hip is really sharply, kind of like something is like clicking into place. And this is the place. Um, so your hands are kind of in this stair, like angular um, shape. So you want to hit the shape when you sit. And then you're going to put your hands together with this hand still um, with your hands kind of near your left and your right knee popped. So you're kind of like this. It's kind of an uncomfortable position, but um, so one and two and. So this part is kind of fast. So you're gonna be here on two and, and then the next few beats, you're gonna be switching your arms and your legs. So now you're like this. So two, one and two and three and and then this time you're just switching your legs and your hands are coming here so i'm like i don't know what this is this like right angle and right angle and you're here um, because we switched from here so now i'm sitting on my right my left knee is popped and my hands are like this but my body is faced to my left and my head is going to be turned back. So all of that, all of that switching is happening on that beat. So just to go over that section again, go one and two and three and four. And then four and, you're going to hold everything still so except your head, you're going to sharply turn forward. So four and, and now you're here. So, I get a review from the beginning. So after we did Nininanda, we're gonna go one, two, three, up, five and six, tick tock, tick tock, one and two, and three and four, and. I know that's kind of fast, but does anyone have any questions about like the moves themselves and then I'll drill the counts a little bit. I think it's okay. Any questions so far? Okay. Um, let's try that from here and I'll go like pretty slowly with counting. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, Five and six and seven, eight, one and two and three and four and. Any questions? Was that good? Should we try to count it out a little faster? So look. Yes? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try again from here. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five and six and seven, eight. One and two and three and four and. Yeah, four and. Um, one detail about this switch part. So because it's like kind of mind screwy to like think about this, um, you can just go straight, but I've seen that the dancers kind of more like groove it. So when they like do the switch rather than just go straight, they go like this. But like don't do it too excessively. It's just kind of like, yeah. But you want to hit this really sharply. Um, so one and two and three and four and. Okay, I'm going to just teach a tiny bit more and then we can do it with music. So I ended up here, four and. And so this move is really kind of uncomfortable, but it's okay, you guys can do it. <laughs> um, so you're going to like roll your pelvis forward, but like try to keep your shoulders and your head and your torso as still as possible. So you can try it just with your hands on your hips. So you don't have to like keep holding this. But I kind of think of it as like your um, 
moving your weight from your front leg to your back, back leg. So you can like lean from back, front, back, and then as you do that, you can move your pelvis. So I, I don't know if it helps to see it forward, but you can start from like this half of your pelvis, so like the back half, so you can like lift it and then like lift your booty up a little bit at the end. It feels a little bit weird, or maybe it just felt weird for me, but maybe you guys will get it. Um, so that's four and five, six, and then you're transitioning into the next formation for the seven, eight. So, um, so the dancer kind of like pull themselves by like their chest as they like move into their next location. So reiterate, one and two and three and four and five, six, seven and eight and. Yeah, so they kind of like move only for like the eight and part. So for seven, they're just moving, they put like eight and pull themselves into the next formation. So, um, oh wait, it's seven and eight and. Okay, so she actually says, put your hands in the air. So for eight and, you're gonna go, put your hands in the eight and. So for the last and of that eight count, you're putting your hands in the air like Jesse tells you to. So let me just clarify that count again. So it'll go one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight, and. Yeah, so you are sliding on seven actually. So correction there. So five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, and. We ended at put your hands in the air, and your right arm is up, and kind of like together, but more as like a prep step, your left leg is gonna lift up, and then you're going to step down, and bring your left hand on your waist. So when you do this, when you lift up your arm, you don't want to like lock your knee here because the next step requires like your legs to be a little flexible. So make sure that when you are putting your leg down, you like un make sure that you can like bounce on this knee a little bit like this. So I would just as an exercise, like have your knee, your right leg in front of you with your heel and like your toes up and then like kind of like bounce a little bit just, just to get your balance in check and your, most of your weight is going to be on your right leg. So it's not going to be like super easy, but um, just make sure you feel comfortable like getting a little bit lower on the scene. So once you feel comfortable, and your left arm is gonna be on your waist, your foot is gonna basically swivel out, in, out, in. So this is gonna be on the one and two and, yeah. So it's gonna go out on the count and in on the hand. So it's gonna go one and two and three and four, five and six. And then you're gonna step in for the last seven, eight. So basically for six counts, you're gonna be in this stance. And so like your, what is this? Right thigh is gonna really be feeling it by the end of this. So your, um, with your hand on your waist, you're gonna go out, 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 yeah, um, six times. Um, and at the same time with your head, your head is gonna be going like this. So your head is following your foot. So your foot is going out on the one. So it's gonna be like one, two, three, four. And you're only gonna do your head four times. And then for the six, seven, 
you're gonna go like this. So it's like the same motion as the nu nu na na, but with two hands. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. just kidding, you are doing the hands for this. So five, six, and then you're gonna step in. And then you're gonna go seven, eight. Um, so you're not doing the leg for the last two, but you're just doing your arms crossing and out crossing. So seven, eight. And your head is going to basically follow your right fist. So seven, eight. So that's like the basic move. And on the on every like other beat, you're also going to emphasize, you're going to emphasize every other beat. So it's going to go one and two and three and four which is why i was telling you like stay loose on this leg because you have to go more down for the second one so you're not actually like bringing this knee out but like it'll kind of emphasize that this knee is moving out if you try that so let's just try just the head and the foot like just to, to practice a few times so uh, put your weight on your right leg and your left leg is going to be popped on the heel and you're just going to go, I want you to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you kind of feel comfortable with those movements going together. And for me personally, this took me a really long time to like internalize. So if it doesn't look like you think it should look right away, that's totally fine. It's a very awkward movement. So one tip that I have, if you can't nail the head movement right away, you can use your shoulders to like give, again, give the illusion that your head is moving more. So you don't wanna like go like this because that looks a little silly, but just like use your shoulders to help you out and like make it look like your head is getting closer to your shoulder. So you wanna raise the shoulder in the same direction that you want the head to go. So if I'm going right, or if I'm going left for the one, then I want to raise my left shoulder like that. And again, if you can do the head thing and you just want to emphasize the move, you can also do the shoulders. Um, just try not to go too overboard with it because then it like detracts from the actual head movement. That's your view. Um, so put your hands in the air and then your left leg is prepped to go up and then you place one and two, three and four. Uh, and then you're gonna do the like come here with the same uh, six, five and six. And now the last seven, eight, you're gonna bring your foot in and then seven, eight. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight. And then after that, you're, she goes like, just dance with me. And you're gonna dance with her. So you're gonna do the same movement, except you're starting on this side actually. So you're gonna go lift your left leg up, right leg up, and then you're gonna set. Um, yeah, just like fully forward even, and your hand is like this. And then this also doesn't go with the count, but it goes like almost exactly with her singing. She goes like, eh, 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 eh. So she does, eh, 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 eh. So she does like four little yeah or eh sounds. And so you're gonna go with your hand out, in, out, up. So just the hands out, in, out, up. With just your right hand, your left hand is just kind of chilling and then it's going down. So that's what your arms are doing. And then your legs, you're gonna sit on your right hip, left hip, right hip, and then wipe away. So like lean down. Um, and then, I can't remember which direction they tilt their head, but um, I'll double check that in a second. So just, to reiterate that last after seven, eight, you're gonna go one, two, oh, first to teach this. <laughs> you're gonna go one, two, 
and then it's going to just go left, left, and then with your hands, your right hand is going to go out like this, so like kind of um, flat hand, and you're going to go like this on your cheek, so kind of like give me a kiss while you do two lefts. So it's going to be left, right, kiss, kiss, and then now you're prepped with this hand to go one, yeah, eh, 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 eh. Sorry, let me go over that last part one more time. So after seven, eight, you're going to go left, right, kiss, kiss, out, in, out, up. So you're still like jumping and then you're going to flip out, sit on your right, in, sit on your left, out, sit on your right, and then push. Any questions? Um, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
You know I got the keys to the locks. Hey. 